Who is this? Who is this person who rarely shows their face on the YouTubes anymore? Ha! <laughs> That's right. It's me. It's coming closer to December, guys, and, um, I think you all know what that means. That it's Christmas, Dad! No! It doesn't mean that it's Christmas! It means that the zombies are coming and we're all going to die. What? <laughs> That's right, confused citizen. Who is me? That's right, confused citizen. The zombies are in fact coming to eat your penis. Oh, Harry. Zombies don't eat penis. They eat brain. With men. What's the difference? <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Can I get a... Nothing? Guys? Fine. Guys, it's actually no laughing matter. Zombies are... It's quite a serious thing. It's real life. We've seen it all before. Resident Evil 5. Classic example of uh, zombies taking over Africa. You've got uh, that other film, 28 something later. Days, weeks. Pfft. Who cares? Zombies are here forever. They're not They're not leaving. Zombies are here to stay and we're all going to die. Zombies, they eat penis. The women, they're gonna be fine unless they have a penis. But us men, we have penises. We're screwed. Now, you might be thinking, Harry, this isn't right. Not once in a single movie have I actually seen a zombie eat a penis. Well, that's because I'm allowed to show you penises on TV. That's what Pornhub's for. Is that just me? Ow. Now, I'm gonna show you a clip of a zombie. It's not for the faint-hearted. It's pretty gross, so if you're easily squeamish, I suggest you swivel around right now. Because what I'm about to show you is disgusting. Back to the zombie, back to the zombie! Oh! Oh! Ooh. Ah! It's hideous! Clearly I'm losing my mind. Wrong tube. Ugh. But not to fear, human people. I'm here to help you survive zombies and actually prevent them from eating your brains and wearing your skin as a coat. Gross, right? Skin coats? It's nasty. Now, what we see so much in zombie movies is people running around with various weapons, they're hiding in various places. Got malls, their houses. But I'm here to set the record straight. Imagine the records not straight, I'm here to straighten them. What we see so much in zombie movies today, people running around, making fools of themselves, and giving us real zombie survivors a bad name. But if you've ever played Dead Island, not a good example actually. A baseball bat is not a good weapon. Now, I know that stereotypically, we all want to go and play baseball with a zombie. Oh, it'll be so much fun. Bash them across the head a little bit, ramming up their ass. All right, I think that last one's just you. I mean, come on. Why are we gonna be playing baseball with zombies? <laughs> That's hilarious! Come on guys, how would the zombie even run around the little diamondy thing? He'd slide and he'd, he'd break his legs. When fighting off hordes of the undead, you're gonna need some murderous weapon of pure chaos and destruction. A weapon that if anyone were to see you with, they'd all be like, I'm going to touch your boobs! No! You get out of here! Not touching anyone's boobs today! Not again. You're looking for a weapon that when you walk down the street, People will be like, Dear God, Dear God, just look at that man or woman, look at that man, woman, with that mighty weapon. I hope he doesn't murder us with his mighty weapon. To which you'll respond, <laughs> No worries, man, woman. I'm here to kick zombie vagina. What weapon is it, you may ask? Well, strange person that talks to themselves. Sorry, guys. This weapon's far too powerful. Not sure if you're ready to hear about it. Or maybe you are ready for this. Are you ready for this? It's pretty hardcore. A fork. Are you forking me? Oh my bad. Wrong one. Oh ho ho. That's right. A spoon. A spoon! A spoon! Spoon! That's right. A spoon. There's nothing more deadly on God's green earth as a spoon. Not even Nazis had this kind of power. Hitler wished he had spoons. Not even a rhino on steroids could hold this kind of godlike mighty power. Well, golly gee, Harry, how's a spoon gonna save us? <laughs> well, now that that homo is gone, a spoon is a very underestimated weapon. There are many ways that you could kill a zombie with a spoon. I'm gonna demonstrate those ways for you. Throwing spoons at zombies. What do we do? Throw the spoon! What? <laughs> the spoon! <laughs> Zombies 
in the waist. Go! Use the spoon! Jump him with the spoon! Ready in the game, hon! Or spooning a zombie. Wait, no, actually, I don't recommend that last one. You're gonna have to toss me! What? Toss me! You're gonna have to toss me! I'm pretty sure after these acts of pure deadliness, the zombies will be so scared of you they'll run home to their zombie moms. <laughs> they had spoons! Now that you have the most deadly weapon, it's time to talk hiding spots. And no, I'm not talking like a mole. Your house, dear God. You don't wanna hide in your own house. That's, they know you're gonna be there, cause Zombies know where you live. When fighting zombies, you want to be somewhere where there's food and supplies and you're going to be able to survive for a long period of time because, like I said before, zombies are here to stay. They're not going anywhere. Morrison's! Or maybe Asda. Or actually Trago. Trago's a good place. Trago has guns and crossbows, so... Yeah, Trago's where you should go. I'll see you guys at Trago. I hope you're now prepared when the zombie comes. The zombie comes? That's gross. Zombies don't come. Okay guys, so I hope I've managed to prepare you all for the zombie apocalypse. Now you know how to deal with zombies. Don't forget your spoons, kids. And most importantly, tits. Guys, in return for my infinite wisdom on zombies, if you like this video, then please hit subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and add it to your favorites. Thanks guys, and uh, leave me a comment below. If you wanna see me talking about something else, please tell your friends. If you like this, even if you don't like this, just tell them anyway. Just be like, ha, there is this idiot on YouTube Let's all laugh at him. I don't mind that, that's cool. Uh, pfft, whatever, I mean, geez. It's, you know, whatever, your friends can watch. And maybe they'll tell their friends, and you'll just, you'll all just come and laugh at me. It's great. You don't even have to laugh with me. You can laugh at me. I, pfft, I'm not that, I'm not bothered. I'm talking again? Oh, that's cool. I'll just, <laughs> bye guys. All right, cool, thanks. Matt has her out. Mwah. Spoonie, 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 spoonie! Spoon!